I'm sorry, Luke. Oh, it's okay. Just that low threshold of pain I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Dr. Weber. Leslie, hi. Look, I hope I'm not calling at a bad time. I'm with a patient right now. Well, I won't keep you then. Uh, would you join me in the cafeteria and all that? I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule as soon as this patient leaves. And uh, if I can get away, I'll meet you. Okay, fine. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. When uh, will you take the stitches out? Pretty soon now. Seems to be coming along very well. Don't get it wet. Yeah, I won't. I really want to thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. It's all in a day's work. I'm just sorry you had to wait. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. Like I was telling my sister earlier, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd a lot rather come back and see you than go see old Dr. Haynes, the family doctor. You know, it's really odd. I figured I had probably come in touch with almost every doctor in Port Charles by now. I've never even heard of Dr. Haynes. Oh, well, he has a very small practice now. Mostly people in the neighborhood, you know, people that have gone to him for years. Uh-huh. What neighborhood is that? Our old one, Elm Street, right off Port Charles Avenue. Yes, well, I don't know too much about that neighborhood. My husband and I live on yes, the other Yes, uh, well, you don't, uh, you don't have to explain, Dr. Weber. We'll just chalk neighborhoods up to one more thing the Spencers and the Webbers don't have in common. Mm, maybe. But it seems to me that you have done pretty well for yourself. I can't complain. But it's been an uphill climb all the way. Well, but you did it. That's what really matters. I think so. Well, I uh, don't want to take up any more of your time. Let me help you. Thank you. The receptionist will make another appointment for you. However, if you have any trouble, you come in. I will. Thank you. Bye. Bobby, I should have these test results back for you today. But, um, Scotty wants to be here when uh, we discuss it. Well, of course. He has every right to be here. After all, he's the father. I want you to know how sorry I am, Bobby, for the both of you. Gina, you don't have to feel sorry for me. And Scotty's going to come around once the baby's born. You'll see, I am going to be the best wife and mother in the world. You'll see. Excuse me. Gina Dante. Yes, Karen? How high is it? Correct. I wanted to know the slightest variation. I'll be right there. Bobby, that was Heather's nurse. She's running a temperature now, and I want to get to her. Oh, sure. You go ahead. Oh, but no, I want to call the lab first to make sure they put a rush on your test. So we'll get it today. <sighs> Hello, Lester. It's Gina Dante. Yes, Gina. What can I do for you? I've got to get to a patient right now up on 7, but I wanted you to rush a test through for me. I'm in a hurry for the results. Well, why don't I send someone to the office and pick it up? Oh, thanks, Lester. Uh, there's actually two of them, but the one I want you to run a test on first is the Spencer test. Um, and get it back to me right away? Sure thing. Spencer. Right. Thanks Le again, Lester. Bye. Are you ready to go, Bobby? We can walk out together. Okay. Listen, uh, I gotta go to uh, Mrs. Hardy's office, so I'm gonna go this way, okay? Okay, fine. I'll call you as soon as I get the test results. Back. Thanks. Okay.
Do you have a minute? I want yeah. to talk to you. Scotty, of course. What is it? Yeah, uh, Gina saw Bobby earlier this morning, and she gave her a new pregnancy test. Do you know the results? No, but I told Gina that I want to be there when the results come back from the lab. Oh, well, that's good. Um, Bobby's brother, Luke, was in my office in the clinic earlier this morning. And from the little that I got out of him about this Dr. Haynes, I don't think that's the most reliable physician in town. Yeah, good. Listen, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Okay, please do. Call me. I'll be in the clinic. Okay. Bobby, have you heard anything yet? No, Scotty. I told you that I would let you know the minute I heard anything from Jean Dante. Well, don't forget, I want to be there when she tells you. Okay. But if I were you, I would just make sure that I was all packed and ready to go to Toronto because you were going to hear the, exactly the same thing that Dr. Haynes told you. I'm pregnant. I, um, I just want you to know that whatever happens, your father and I are here to help. Thank you. And uh, I'll call you both at your house as soon as I know anything. Good luck. Thanks. Take care of your foot. No, baby, Miss Fleming. Yes. Yes, Gina, she's right here. Uh, Bobby, it's for you. Gina, hi. Um, yeah, yeah, he's, he's right here. Okay, we'll be right up. Thank you. Dory, is it okay if I leave for a few minutes? Just a few minutes, okay? Well, all right, if it's really important. Yeah, it's really important. You ready? Yes. Hey, Bobby. I just came down to ask if you wanted to lift back to Jesse's after your shift. That's okay, Dan. I might be a few minutes late, but uh, don't take Jesse out to dinner or anything because I think I'm going to have a lot of things to tell you about. Does this have something to do with that mysterious surprise you told Jesse you had for her? Actually, Dan, we're in a hurry right now, but don't go anywhere. Wait for me. No, no, I'll wait for you. Hey, Jesse. Did Gina say that the test results are back already? Yes, Scotty. Why else do you think that she'd want to see the two of us? What? I just hope that when you hear I'm really pregnant this time, you're not going to try to think of any more excuses to postpone our wedding. No, Bobby, this is it. This is definitely it. Do you! Do I what? I really believe that I am pregnant. Bobby, all right, I'm going to tell you straight out. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, I want to make sure that you're pregnant. And if you are... And if Gina tells me that you are, I'm going to make sure that you and the baby get the best care possible, and she will see to it that you do. All right, fine. But this is the very last humiliation that I am going to endure. The very last. Do you understand that? Bob, you know, you ought to try putting this in a whole proper perspective. I am putting a year out of my life just to make sure that things are done right by you. And I don't think that asking you to see the best gynecologist in Port Charles is asking too much. Now, do you? There's a wonderful doctor, too. Yeah, but why should you have to pay for another doctor when all the services are right here free in the hospital? Oh, you could manage to keep your voice down. All right, all right. But would you answer that question? Is this an example of what married life is going to be like with you? Oh, come on, Bobby. I hate this. This is all I've heard when I was growing up. My mother and my father shouting at each other all the time, saying awful, ugly things to each other, trying to hurt each other. I hate this. Bobby, I am sorry. I don't want our baby to have to grow up listening to this go on like this. Bobby, I said I'm sorry. I apologize. Come on. Stop crying. I can't help it. Look, Gina is waiting for us, all right? She's got the test results back, so come on, let's go, all right? Okay? to keep you waiting like this. That's okay, Gina. We don't mind, Gina, really. Well, Lester did call five minutes ago to tell me that the test results were on their way up, but uh, they should have been here by now. Oh. Yeah, well, maybe that's not now. Come in. Oh, Lester, I was expecting an orderly. Well, you were uh, in the hurry for the Spencer results, so I brought them myself. Thank you, Lester. And you'll have the Davenport results in the morning. Uh, you said this was more important. Yes, it is. And I really appreciate the speed. Thank you again. No trouble at all. Good night, Gina. Good night. <sighs> Sit down, Scotty. Uh, 
Uh, no, I'll stay standing. I'd really like you to sit down so I can talk seriously to both of you about this. Well? The test result is certainly positive. I see. Bobby is definitely pregnant. That's what I figured. Dr. Dante, thank you so much. I really appreciate you rushing this through for us so that Scotty could hear again from you that I am really pregnant. He has, he has, he has a lot of faith in you, and, that, and that's why he wanted me to come see you again. Well, I was glad to do it, Bobby, for both of your sakes and for the babies. I only hope I'm as healthy as I feel right now. Well, you're in excellent health, Bobby. Good, I feel super. And um, your family physician? As he said, you should expect a uh, fine, healthy baby by midsummer. I can't wait. As a, a rule, I would like to see you once a week, just to keep an eye on you and to make sure that everything continues as smoothly. Uh, don't you worry, Dr. Dante. I am going to take the very best care of myself. Well, even so, what I usually suggest is once a week for first pregnancies. Um, Dr. Dante, I don't want you to think that this is any reflection on you because you you've always been really wonderful to me and i have i have every confidence in your ability it's just that uh, yes go on uh, well you know how it is growing up with a family doctor and well dr haynes has known me all my life and i would really like to continue seeing him until after the baby's born and I would like him to deliver the baby, too, because he delivered all of the babies in my family. I mean, it's kind of a Spencer tradition. And, um, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but it's... It's all right. You won't hurt my feelings. I understand. If you want your doctor to deliver your baby, then that's fine with me. Bobby, listen, um, I think that you should go on seeing Gina. Scotty, because... I just explained the whole thing to Gina, and she doesn't see anything wrong with my continuing to see Dr. Haynes. Of course, but... of course not, but look, if... may I make a suggestion? Yeah, sure, Gina. All right. Look, it's something that the two of you are really going to have to work out for yourselves. But there's no rush to make a choice at the moment. Yeah, maybe not. It's just that, Gina, you are here in the hospital, and so is Bobby. Scotty, I come just... on. Dr. Haynes is not a million miles away. He is ten minutes from Jesse's apartment. Look, why don't you two work this out by yourself? And if Bobby wants to be my patient, that's fine with me. If not, I'm sure Dr. Haynes will uh, take very good care of her. He is a general practitioner, isn't he? Oh, yes. And I have great faith in him. I mean, he took care of all of the Spencers. He's, he's like one of the family. Okay, fine. You just let me know, all right? Okay, Gina, listen, um, thank you for everything. Dr. Dante, thank you. Thank you for, for everything. <laughs> <laughs> 